If I knew you were coming, I'd have grown a pair and ripped you a new one. Phone off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you creepy bastard. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, bastard. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're not going to trick you by putting a welder's bench on. Well, it doesn't look like me now, does it? It still knows who you are. That makes me look like one of the Queen's Guards. <laughs> Mom, just going to weld up your Rolls Royce for you. <clears throat> What do you think of the current queen? She's tall, she's got a funny whiny voice and she, she makes everything sound like she's a school teacher that, that uh... You'd you do her, wouldn't you? Why? <laughs> so you say. I bet you would. <laughs> yeah, I'd do anything for me. I'd do anything for a tenor. You've admitted plenty of times that, you know, you, you're not someone to tell a secret to. Oh, you, I'm, I'm You can't keep stuff to yourself, can yeah, you? I'm hideously in this Yeah, yeah. so... Go on. Go on what? What's she called? I'm not there, no. No, 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 I'll pick somebody else. Right, let's Yeah, but then that's not the right game, is it? This is the kind of game that you make up to try and get me stuck. You don't <laughs> like it with the boots on the other foot, do you? I don't, because it doesn't fit properly. Be really what size are your feet? 11. Well, it's just it should be fine. It's not going to if you've got it on the other foot. Ah, right, you mean on the wrong foot? Yeah. I never said the wrong thing. Right, Miriam Margolis. <clears throat> I find Miriam Margolis very unattractive indeed. Who's that? What do you mean, who's that? Exactly what I've just said. You don't know who Miriam Margolis is? No. I don't believe you. Prove it. How? I don't know, that's for you to work out. To prove it? that I don't know who yeah. she is? Yeah, I can't solve everything for you. Miriam. Miriam Margolis. I'm going to search that. Oh, well, there you are. There's a guitar, is it? Oh. The witch. She, I don't think she's a witch. No, she played a witch, didn't she? Did she? Yeah. Um, in, was, in what? It was a, it was a children's programme. Oh, is it Happy Rafa? Oh, yeah, there you go. I think that's nice, though. <laughs> I'm with you there, though, but I can't find a... I'm sure she... Um... Yeah, Grotbag's the witch. She wasn't Grotbag's. What does it say there? That's not Miriam Margolis. What does that say? It's wrong. Is that wrong? Look at... No, no, look at that, not me. <laughs> right, Miriam Margolis was not Grotbag's. Right. right, Google Grotbag's. It's the same woman. It's not. It is. I promise you. Look, Carol oh, Lee. Ca oh, but it looks just like her. You it? dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she's that. <laughs> oh gosh, what a terrible thing to say about the poor lady. I was going to say that she's that ugly that she looks like a witch. Without him, uh, sorry, Miriam. So right, yeah, okay, she's not your type, then is she not? No, she's not my type. She does look like her though. She does. Well, she does look like Rockbacks. She doesn't. But that's the first. Rockbacks is green. That's paint. Oh, is it? Would you like me to paint you green? No, I wouldn't like that at all. So go on, what was the next? So I've, I've picked a lady that I find hideously un unattractive. Yeah. What was the other bit? Right, how much would you have to be paid to uh, podger her? And you have to do it properly as well. Properly? Yeah, oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's not, I mean, you've got to actually. Define properly. Well, you've got to satisfy her. Well, I'd struggle to do that. What with her being a lesbian and everything. Well, you'll have to... <laughs> is she? Well, I'd have to yodel in the canyon then, wouldn't I? Yeah. Go on. 
Um, right, so how long does this have to go on for? To answer the question. No, how long do I have to... Well, to, until the job's done. So, so it, might, it might be five minutes. Do I... Ha, ha, define the job being done. But so that she's happy and she's really just going to sleep. Right, okay. Well, she's really old, so I mean, I could just give her a cup of tea and a <laughs> slice of cake. Yeah, okay, you could do that. That'd be the easiest way, wouldn't it? If you can talk around into not wanting it at all, mm. then yeah, you, you really are a winner, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. But okay, so assuming I actually have to you do. properly mount her. Yeah. Yeah, but. And I've got to make sure that she has a climax. Yeah, she might not be into that thing, so it might take you a bit longer than it would have done otherwise. That yeah. makes it even more of a challenge to see. Yeah, I need to factor that in, then. Um, mm. Right, well, minimum wage is... How much is minimum wage? Eight fifty an hour? No, it's more than that. Is it? Yeah, it's about 12 quid now. Can't be. Yeah. If I had 12 pound an hour, I'd be rich. <laughs> How do you work that out? You, you, you mean if you if somebody just gave you twelve pound an hour, then yeah, yeah you would be yeah. rich. Or if you got twelve pound per hour for the work for working, yeah, you'd be very poor. Oh, why? Well, because you don't do an hour a day. I do when you're not here. Oh, you say you do. But... Nothing ever happens when you're here, except stuff like this. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay, I'll give you an answer. I would want. Twenty thousand pounds. Twenty thousand pounds, and I'd have a proper go. I really would. Well, you have to. Oh, I, I, I would. Yeah, she could spot you being fake. No, I wouldn't be. I mean, she's really, really funny. So that would be, you know, that would help. Would it? Yeah, it'd take my mind off it. But she would be being really funny whilst you're trying to change your mind about what gender she likes. Well, I mean, she's incredibly promiscuous. Is she? Uh, whenever she, uh, whenever she met a soldier, she always gave them a blowjob. Because she thought it was her duty. And that's a true story. I'm not making that up. There's no such thing as a true story for me, though, is I there? I promise you that's true. Right. But what difference does that make? You can promise me as much as you like. You could even give me what you consider, or other people consider, to be evidence, proof. Yeah, well... Like, There's still a good possibility... Her, of saying, it her saying it in an, inter in an interview would be my proof. Would it? With Graham Norton, yeah. How much would you want to do Graham Norton? What benefits are there involved? I mean, what do you... Um, well, money. Yeah, I mean, besides that, I was, there's, no, there's no other perks. Well, <laughs> what do you want luncheon vouchers? Well, maybe, yeah. No, you just get maybe, money. Maybe, maybe you could help me have a big break in the TV. No, 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 no. He, no, he just wants you to uh, podder his little butty. You'd be like you'd be like an escort, you know. He'd be in a hotel, um, and you would turn up, spend an hour, do him, fuck off. Ah. Well, you know exactly what the answer is, then, don't you? It rather depends on whether I've sold something or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, you're three week you're three weeks behind on the rent. Right. Okay. Um So Well my, my usual thing then, so uh, what two hundred quid? <laughs> Nothing like making yourself available. Seriously? What? 
what would be a serious answer to the question? Th this is the trouble with questions like this. I mean, imagine that. Imagine. If, I started this one today, so I've got. Imagine if Graham Norton said, "Look, I've watched all your videos. I think you're a lovely man, um, and I'm very attracted to you. And I know from watching your videos that that you're not very well blessed financially at the moment. I'm sure that will change. I've seen the thing you're doing with Roger Melly. That's quite good." That, you know. So I'd like to take advantage of your misfortune by offering you a piece of my ring. Yeah, yeah. Basic, basically. He's saying, look, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. I find you very attractive. I would love you to do me. Uh, and I would like to help you out financially. So, now I imagine being a... I genuinely believe you to be largely heterosexual. Me? Yeah. Oh, right. So I'm sure your first answer would be, look, I'm really flattered, but no. But imagine he kept going and started naming some. What would be the sum of money where well, you said, yeah. okay. But seriously. But, but, but seriously, Cause you I, I know that what we're talking about here is that there's... Uh, would you do it for £100, he might say. Well, no, obviously you wouldn't. I mean, right. nobody would. You can't. Nobody would do it for a hundred pounds. Right. Okay. But not, then the point is, not even a, a just sex sit, worker wouldn't do it for a hundred pounds. I've just got to keep saying no, and no, I need more than that, and it just keep up there. So I could say, right, yeah, twenty thousand pounds. But what if I said no? Then the next offer is forty thousand pounds, and then I won't have to do it the following week. Okay. Well. Right, okay, let's add a bit of... Hi, hi. Let's add a bit of jeopardy to it, right? So, he's also massively attracted to Furious Driving and Hubner. Ah, that's more like it. So, yeah. and he's messaging all three of you. And we don't know what the others are, are going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you've, got yeah. Get your, you've got to get in early. If you've got a piece of Graham and yeah. his money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's only going to be... <coughs> it's going to be one or the other Yeah. of you. He's not going to do all three of you. <clears throat> Good shout. Mm. Yeah. So, what would be the figure where you'd say, yeah, I can't not do it for that amount of money? Right, and you want a proper, a proper uh, answer, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, 200. <laughs> <laughs> I might have mentioned actually, it rather depends on what the situation is at the time. But no, it would. Think of somebody really rich, okay? Think of a really rich person. Okay. That, um, well, uh, Bill Gates is a good example of somebody who's really rich, isn't he? Yeah. Now, one million pounds would be enough to make me do anything, pretty much. Right. But a bit wouldn't for him. Yeah, but Graham knows that, so he's not going to go chasing after it. Anyway, I don't think Graham's attracted to Bill Gates. It might be if he's reappeared. So for a million quid, you'd do it? Yeah, thanks, yeah. Would you? For a million quid? Yeah. No. No? How no. many? Hey? How much? I wouldn't do it for any amount of money. Yes, you would. I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, well, I would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. I'm glad I don't have conversations like this with anybody else. Because it would spoil the lovely bond that I have with this man here. Carlson's farm. Of which... You missed a trick, I should have played Carlson. Why? Well, because I look like him. Uh, yeah, but half the fun is that Steve doesn't look like him. But he, he is quite happy to have his face painted. And to have a big cushion up his belly to make it more like a death egg. Yeah, well, you see, I wouldn't have needed cushion. You're not anywhere near the shape of Clarkson, are you? I'm getting there. His it, it, must be out there, I'd say. It's like a beach ball, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He's not very well, is he? Is he not? I don't think so. What's wrong with him? No. Mm. He's sick. Sick of what? Television. I saw something on YouTube about him having early dementia. That's it, yeah. Hammer? Hammer sandwich? A hammer sandwich. 
I can't even get on the floor without this thing following me around. I wonder if there's any way that I could turn Mr. Clarkson's disadvantage into having a go on Lisa Hogan. I'd love to have a go on Lisa Hogan. Yeah, I think you mentioned that. Well, I would. Is she really your type? Oh, yeah. Well, no. Okay. No, she's not really my type. But sometimes it's okay to go a little outside of your type. Okay. You're probably right, then. That's how you are. No. Well, I've just cogitated. Of course you have. So, we've established what you do for a, a million quid. Half a million pounds, 500,000 pounds. Yeah, I know what that is. Right. And you can get the 500,000 pounds by administering a pottering to a man or an animal of your choice. Oh, I'm trying to shave your <laughs> What would you go for? Right, I think for legal reasons, it'd have to be a man, wouldn't it? Legal reasons? Yeah. You can't, you can't legally podger a dog, can you? It's bestiality. I don't know. Is it against the law? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Well, why aren't dogs arrested? For what? Poddering each other. Because... Dogs are above the law. Except for when they bite people. Then they just get shot. Humans don't get shot for biting people, do they? Um. Well, Mike Tyson didn't. He didn't get shot, no. Huh? He didn't get um, put to sleep. Now, if that was a, a dog... So if dogs are above the law, then if you trained your dog to go in and rob a shop, yeah. it wouldn't be held to account? No, probably not. So if you were blind, That'd be the way to go, wouldn't it? You have to be really good at training your dog. Yeah, but they're really highly trained, aren't they, guide dogs? So if you were blind, you could go into a shop with your guide dog, yeah. rob the shop, and the dog would be held responsible, except dogs are above the law. So. Have you been playing dressing up with Roger Melly again? <laughs> what have you been playing at this time? It's like a children's program. <laughs> Today, Paul and his friend Roger are playing at being building type men. No, I just fancy going outside then. Any car that goes by just go. <laughs> go on then. What? Go on, I'll film you. Oh dear. It doesn't suit me actually. Oh, I think it does. 